Hey, attention crypto gossipators, things are about to get interesting. Remember, not financial advice. Hey guys, what is up? Hope everyone is doing well. Hope everyone's having an amazing day because I am as usual. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So, as most of you know, Shibarium has finally gone live, okay? So everything that we were hoping for in terms of, you know, Shibarium's release, okay? It actually getting released has come true, but it did not spike like we thought it would, okay? We thought there was gonna be a bigger spike. I have some theories behind it. I don't think it's that serious as you guys may think. Some of you started panicking too much. So let's just dive deep into it and, you know, really get into all these explanations. So here, you know, we actually even have an article which says Shiba Inu falls 7.1% bone down 13.9% and here's why, okay? So ha have a look at this one. Now, Shiba Inu ecosystem token SHIB and bone record price declined. In the wake of the long anticipated Shiperia main app launched the two most significant tokens powering the chain's ecosystem have taken a downward trajectory to the dismay of crypto enthusiasts, okay? So yeah, of course, I mean, a lot of you are gonna be sad because you probably expected something else. Now, amid the hype surrounding the Layer 2 Solution Network launch, the crypto community emphasizes a spike in the Shiba Inu ecosystem tokens, particularly Shiba Inu and Bone. However, these two tokens have continued to plunge in value, raising suspicions um within the crypto sphere it is worth noting that bone was adopted to serve as the gas fee token on shibarium highlighting where the crypto community is seemingly anticipating a surge in the tokens price now ship and bone market prices so data from coin gecko a crypto authority tracking site revealed that ship had lost a leading zero and is selling for 0.5 zeros at the time of writing ship's current price indicates token has declined by about 7.7 percent but guys this is all changing okay so by the time this video comes out could be completely different at the same time bone also dropped um now reasons for the price decline okay this is important so let's see if we can actually figure something out here now the main reason for the climb of shiba inu ecosystem coins could be the overall crypto market outlook that is taking a toll on these digital asset prices to corroborate the above fact data from binance the world's leading exchange indicates that most trending cryptocurrencies on the exchange platform are presently recording losses some of these coins include Binance, Smart Chain, Bitcoin, Ethereum, etc. The other reason for the fall can be buying the rumor and selling the news phenomena. SHIB and Bone were witnessing a surge before the launch of Shibarium. As soon as the team announced the official Shibarium launch news, um, both coins started falling. The, the third reason is Shibarium Network faces mounting issues that have resulted in a halt in block production and 1.7 million dollars worth of ETH stuck on the Ethereum bridge. Okay, so guys, different different uh, types of reasons. Okay, um, and I can tell you right now that we don't have a definite answer. I have something to add. I think also another reason is because when you know Kusama gave his first speech, he talked about uh, you know selling the book and you know, the, at the cost of one ETH, blah, 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 okay, went on. And that really sat well with a lot of investors, uh, I mean, sat badly with a lot of uh, investors, okay? They did not like it. And I got a lot of messages saying, hey, how could this be? This is such a big letdown. So a lot of investors were very, very angry. They did not expect it to go this way, okay? And they did not expect him to kind of start selling during uh, the first speech, doesn't make sense for them. So what does that create? It creates panic. Okay, it creates uh, anger and everybody starts spreading this panic and anger. Okay, and you know, it went kind of over the limit and I think a lot started panic selling. If you were to look, uh, you know, at the, at the prices um, of how it like kind of correlated, how it worked out, we saw this drop, okay, this, this massive drop um, and that was due to the panic and then the bang, it went back up, okay. So there is a lot of movement going on, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of movement due to this type of uh, panic. 
And this is all to do with um, supply, demand. This is how prices work, okay? So obviously, if people are freaking out and they're selling, that's gonna push the price down. But guys, you know, a few weeks ago, I actually made a video talking about a potential dip that could be happening. You know, we could dip and all the whales, you know, just to push away all the regular uh, investors uh, that, you know, exist, you know, the typical investor that expects it to go like uh, the most, um, you know, plain way uh, where, oh, okay, it came, uh, came, it comes out, so it has to go up. And if it doesn't, I'll sell because it's the end of it. So all these investors will be gotten rid of, okay? Whales are probably um, manipulating this and then the prices will go up. Okay, and they will be cashing in big time because they loaded up again. So it kind of gave them an opportunity to load up again. But guys, the volumes are massive right now at which it's trading. Okay, so there's a lot of uh, volume. Everybody is watching Shibarium. Everybody is, uh, you know, on top uh, trying to figure out what is uh, going on. And I can tell you that these days are going to be very, very important just because there wasn't this crazy spike. As of now, it doesn't uh, mean that it's the end of it. Remember, there's a post shibarium error. Give it some days. Let's see how it works. Let's see how they operate. Wait till all the projects come in and start, you know, really uh, throwing their money in. So all this stuff really does matter. I don't know how you guys uh, don't understand that this is how markets operate at times. Okay. Uh, so there is way more to come. Believe me. I know I know all of you are very sad and upset, but what can I do? What can I do? Okay. I yes. Yes. I would love it to go to a hundred dollars straight away in one second, but let's be honest. Okay. Let, let, let's be very honest. We have to, um, you know, be patient with this and see how things unfold. I don't want you to be taking these like uh, quick decisions and then just regretting it simple as that okay um also guys in regards to all the other reasons uh yes if ETH stuck on the ethereum bridge uh let's see how that's going to work out whether it's going to be moved um but i don't think it's a massive uh factor here um and also you know the whole idea of buy the room and selling the news um that's a very strong phenomena in the crypto world in the stock markets yeah we know how it works you know uh, a lot of people making money on the news um well actually making money on the rumor and then when it actually comes out uh it tends to drop you know it happens it happens but it all recovers believe me uh so let's just give it some time let's give it a week two weeks you know um and see where it goes and all the other announcements because we're yet to, to hear some big statements from those at the top and what they have to say about it okay they're trying to also probably think about why uh perhaps you know couldn't have spiked as much as uh, they would have liked it to and also you know uh, the big exchanges i think they're ready now to start listing it so that's going to give it that extra push uh so yeah i mean there's more and more things to come more steps to be made so make sure you comment down below why you think it didn't spike as much how you're feeling about it uh, reasons for the price declines you know all that stuff would be very interesting uh, is it kusama's fault is it our fault whose fault is it is there any fault or is it all okay it's just an opportunity to load up so let me know down below also don't forget to subscribe hit that notifications bell and guys as usual thank you so much and i'll see you in my next video peace out